Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Valheim, shall we? Alright, well, here we are, continuing to explore the coast. Oh, look, there's a nest or something over there. Uh, I think that's what that is. We're looking for tin, we're on the prowl, and I'm just mapping out the game and having a good time doing it. We got our little rested buff at our uh, shelter, and I can actually mark this on the map. Why don't I mark it? I, why don't I just say, you know, um, small shelter. So if I need a waypoint, I can come back there, get my rested buff. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. All I'm really looking for, I think, is for the biome indicator to switch from meadows to black forest. Ooh, look, there's like a town or something over here so that I can start to see tin crop up along the, the coast. That's my goal. I don't know how reasonable that is, but that's what we're going for. After I can build my cook pot, get some more bronze stuff, I'll feel comfortable maybe trying to go fight the next boss. I could very well be able to do it right now, but I'm having fun just exploring and seeing the new upgrades I can build at my area, the new forge, the new um, workshop stuff, and anything I can craft and create. All right. Let's see. We got this new bow. Oh, that was actually too much. Got it. Let's kill that bird. Oh, it flew away. It saw... It was like, hey, don't aim at me. All right, fine. Everyone who's been watching and giving me comments, thank you so much for your continued uh, help with the game. Not spoiling it for me, but just, like, letting me kind of figure it out and uh, see what there is. Uh, what are these? Oh, flint head arrows. Okay, that's too bad. I can't pick them up. Um, I can't pick up an extra torch because I don't need an extra torch. I should take the amber instead of a torch. And anything else that I just don't really need right here. Now, this is fine. I don't... Flint head arrows I can make easily. I don't need that. Okay. Members and patrons of the channel, thank you for your continued support and for picking this game for the October member's choice. I like it so much, I'm still playing it. All right. And there's a boar up there. I could shoot that, but I'm just looking around. Look at this. All right. Let's see. Just, I'll just outline the, the coast if I can. This looks like Black Forest up here, if I'm not mistaken. You know, because the, the coniferous trees, I don't know, but it'd be great if it was. Oh, right. And I have my, um, I never use my ability by the way, but I have it ready if I want to use it. Oh, there's a stone house. This is definitely Black Forest. Wow, this is a big house. Oh, there's a skeleton in there. Let me try to shoot this guy. It's hard to see him. Um, there's a lot of skeletons here. This is like a skeleton workshop. You know what, though? I mean, I can sit here and fight them with bows, but I think my best plan is to uh, use a club and just sting these guys because you do bonus damage I'd love to make that bronze mace I mean I would just absolutely annihilate these dudes with a bronze mace is how I feel all right let me walk up here I'm coming up the stairs now the Geneva Convention stipulates that you can't attack me skeleton guy while I'm on the stairs okay you have to wait until I get to your field all right gotcha okay so we cleared out the skeletons, and this is indeed Black Forest. It is switched over, so maybe we can get ourselves a ton of tin. That would be the dream. Now... Oh, okay, you're here. Hi. This house is really large, but it didn't have a chest or anything. It's too bad. It just had a bunch of skeletons guarding it. 
I don't know if that means it's anything special or what, but cool. Oh, there's a house up here too. There's a little shelter down here. Uh, skeletal remains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Let me check this out. Let me see what this is up here. Oh, this is just like a bouillabac or somebody's little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's got a beehive. How great is that? Great is the answer. Alright, so the idea would be, I need the bees, the queen bee, so I gotta drop some stuff. I'm gonna drop these gray dwarf eyes. I really haven't found a use for them yet. I probably, like, will regret that, but I have over a full stack, you know? Um, I am sheltered in here. Alright, how much wood do I have? 12? Okay. Let me do some work. Let me go here and build myself a workbench. And then... Um, we have a workbench. Let me get the hammer out. Let me see, can I repair this bed? Uh. Nah, it doesn't look like it. I can repair the floor, but not the bed itself. I was going to try to maybe... Make myself a place to sleep, because it's getting dark. Here's what I'm going to do. First of all, we're going to get some stone out of this rock. Good. Got some. Okay, I can make a fire now. And I want to make myself a campfire. And we can make it... Oh, there's a hole, like, nearby... Let's just use this hole right here. Um, dude, shame on you. All right, let me let me get rid of this floor. And can I put a fire like right there? Okay, good. And then if I want to craft a bed, what's it take? It just takes eight wood, no problem. All right, let's go get some wood then. Let's try not to step in our own fire. That's going to be a problem, I guarantee it. I hit my house. And by my house, I mean somebody else's house that I stole. Sweet. Okay, that's definitely enough wood. Let me repair all of my stuff while I'm out here. Oh, it needs a roof. Ah, fine. I don't have a roof, but I can build myself a, a bed. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to set my spawn point here, um, but that's okay. Let's just sleep here anyway. We're going to try to get as much um, tin as we can out here in the great beyond. Somebody attacking me? Alright, well, we got rested, and we're good. Okay, great. And... Day 38, let's go get some tin. No, oh, it's a skeleton. For some reason, I thought that was like an ostrich that was coming at me. Hi. How are you? <laughs> you dork. All right, um, let's go to the water. Oh, my food. All right, eat, eat. There you go. All right, luckily our pick is in good shape. Our axe definitely needs to be repaired. It's not doing well, but that's okay. We'll get it. Oh, that looks like tin. That looks like tin. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We've come back. We have found our place in the world. Now, I don't know if tin runs any deeper, but this is fantastic. All right, I'm going to drop stones. I don't need that. I need tin ore. All right, we got three tin ore. All right, tin doesn't look like it goes deeper from where you found it. It looks like there's just a little bit on the surface. Oh, are these carrot seeds? Oh, yes, carrots. 
I don't know about these trophies. I really just don't know how valuable they are. Um, I mean, it's like I have a bajillion of them, I feel like. And I don't do anything with them. I decorate slightly with them. But, you know, not to uh, an, ex an extent where I feel like they're necessary. It my Oh, here's Tim right here. It might be to the point where it's like, yes, that's very good. I need that. But right now, I'm just kind of like, man. Got it. All right. Great. More tin. And that's all we're here for. Okay. Got nine now. Looks like each little clump of tin just gives me three. So I'm just walking around anywhere looking for these things. Getting myself that tin. Mm-hmm. This is great. I'm going to just get as much as I can until I fill up on weight. I'm going to mark this, which is to say, like, you know, um, tin area. I don't know how long it takes to respawn this stuff, but, um, oh, I'm attracting a bunch of attention with my noisy mining. It's like a gong for these gray dwarfs that I'm chiming and they say, what's going on? Is there a brave adventurer for us to try and kill? There is. Wonderful to see you. Great. How much tin do I have now? 22? Man, this is sweet. Keep it coming. Oh, I see some. This is a delight. All right. Take it. Oh, are we at weight? Man. Why you gotta be a spoil sport? I know you got a star, but you ain't special. Okay. Let me look at what weighs a lot. I might actually want to dump this wood so I can pick up more tin. You are carrying too much. Okay. I didn't want to bring my cart because this is just, you know, way too far away for a cart. Uh, I'll drop this deer meat. Does that help with my weight any? Not really. Um, weight 3. Weight 216. Okay. Okay. Almost there. I don't want to drop a piece of it, honestly. I'll drop one piece. There we go. Alright, at this point, I'm ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim at my house. And my house is, like, down here. So I'm going to use... I'm going to put this away. Um, I need to eat another piece of this. And I'm going to run like this and then as soon as I start making some progress running oh this is copper we can mark it I'm gonna run and I'm gonna use my oh my god copper are there are carrots yes give me the carrots I've got farming plans on my mind as soon as my stamina starts getting depleted okay am I running the right way yes I have no interest in you, buddy. Oh, here's somebody's fence. Wow, is this somebody's, like, garden? Looks nice. I don't see any crops, but... Okay, we're going this way. Alright, about halfway down. I'm going to... Ooh, it's snowy. That's kind of cool. This is completely the wrong way, but it's going to be hard for me to get the right way unless I cross this mountain, which I don't know how good I am at doing that. I'm going to use my ability. Go. Ah, oh, man, this is terrible. The 
the incline is crushing me, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and see. Where am I now? I'm up here. Okay. This is called the mountain. Wow, this is definitely a different biome. All right, we found the mountain. You are freezing. Yeah, we got to get out of this. I can only assume that the freezing debuff is, you know, significant. And I don't want it. So let me just run around this mountain and get home. It's going to be a little bit out of my way. Um, but actually, you know what? We're going to lose our cool um, buff. But let me just rest for a bit. I can get my rested buff back at my, my workstation here. Comfort one. There we go. Actually, that was comfort four. How about that? I had a roof. I had a bed, you know, so worked out well for me. All right, I'm using my my movement thing. Hello, dear. Run with me. Scamper across the wilderness with me. All right, am I going the right way? Sort of. Let's see if I can spin this way. I'd like to just uncover some more of the map as I go, too. Of course, you could, like, bring a smelter with you. You know, buy the tin. Uh, and I don't know if the tin ore itself is any lighter. But the problem is you'd have to, like, carry the smelting cores and all the ingredients over there. The, the coal and everything, so... It doesn't seem to be the best plan. Oh, this is the mountain again, isn't it? Maybe, just for a little bit. Nah, this is just a little bit of snow. Mountain is up there. Ooh, ooh. Whose house is this? Mountain man? Mountain man house? Um, is this a different kind of tree? This is a fir. Okay. And uh, we can take some of this. Sure. Oh, carrying too much. Uh, what weighs too much? These arrows? Oh, this flint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't carry that. That's fine. I'm freezing. Let's see what that does, actually. Um, active effects. Rested. I'm not freezing anymore. Okay. I was going to check, but I made it out. Gonna need some warmer clothing. The troll stuff ain't getting me there. Wow, wait a minute. Look at this. This is a whole settlement. They had a farm. They had a lot going on here. This is cool. Let's explore this and mark it up. How you doing? Anything good? Boy. I'll take your arrows, sure. Okay. And... These are, they were growing raspberries, apparently. We only ate berries here. It was, they were delicious. Really? Not, not really. We died from malnutrition. Okay, let me kind of poke around in here. More raspberries. I was hoping they'd have, like, potatoes or some kind of other, you know, crop. Ooh, are these? That's nothing. That is just absolutely nothing. That's dandelions. All right, but I'm going to mark this anyway. I'm going to use this and be like... Farm... Settlement. You know, it's cool. I could do with another bite. I sure could. Right, let me point myself correctly down here. And let's run. We are running. As fast as the wind. The 20 minute cooldown on the, uh, the ability is, I mean, that's significant.
It's a home that I made many years ago. Well, at the very least, I'm leveling up my running. And we're back in the forest. It's a beautiful place. Filled with danger and intrigue. Grey dwarfs. Other unspeakable horrors. That was a good jump. I'm great at jumping. Okay, and let's see. How close am I to my house? Down here. Let's go. Okay. Do do do. Wrong way. Almost home. I can sense it. Look at that hole. That's where I need to come back and try to get even more copper out of it. Great. We're here. All right. So I need to start smelting up this copper or this tin. As fast as I possibly can. Let's close that door. Need some privacy. You don't have any coal. Boy, that's rough. Pick up that carrot. Alright, now it has room to grow. Alright, healthy, healthy, healthy. And I'm going to use my cultivator. We can plant a bunch more stuff. I actually want to plant um, carrots. So I'm going to go like carrot, 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 carrot. Uh-huh. And then we can plant seed carrots along this back wall. Great. Alright. I got a little field going. This is out of coal. So let me see if I have any coal here. I don't. Um, but we have plenty of wood. So what I'm going to do is uh, just kind of bust up this stack and close this up. And we can make a bunch more. Okay. Okay. And I got some coal in here I can use. Let me go in here and take out my coal. Put this away. Here it goes. Fantastic. And it's going... Smelt it. All right. Let me start putting some items away while this stuff cooks. And let's see. We've got extra food. Sure. Here, let me go here. Put this away. And this away. And I don't know what to do with this ancient seed, but we'll figure it out. Let me go to my valuables tin and put away these monies and coins and things. I'll put this in here too because it just seems like it's valuable. Go to my chest here uh, and replace these flint head arrows. Okay, we can build another beehive. 
which seems cool. Let me repair my stuff while I'm thinking about it. Ding, 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 ding. Got it. And let me repair all this. It's done. And let's see how things are going out here. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's good. And let me just build another beehive. Now that's some beehives. Bees are happy. You're darn right they're happy. There we go. Got a lot of honey there. Okay. Um, let's see how this is all going. Seems to be going fine. Let's add smelting. Let's add coal to this. Um, I'm going to top that off. All right. It's all in there now. Okay. So if I wanted to build a cook pot, a cauldron. Okay. Um, I would need just the rest of this and I can make it. And I can go here and I could be like, make a cauldron. Now, I don't know if the cauldron actually needs to be near fire. Um, it just seems like it probably does, but uh, I'm going to build it, like, right here and just see if that's a good idea. Boar jerky, carrot soup, mead base, minced meat sauce, queen's jam. Oh, my. All right, let's see the cauldron. What can I make? Boar jerky is boar meat and honey, and it gives you um, healing, two hit points per tick. Okay. That's pretty good. It gives you health and stamina of 23. Um, carrot soup is a mushroom and a carrot. That's a lot of stamina. Deer stew. Ooh, I need carrots for it, but that's a lot of health. All right. Jam is raspberries and blueberries. That's a ton. Wow, look at all this stuff. Mead base needs to be fermented. So this will help you make mead... Um, which, this gives you a bunch of stamina regen. Minor stamina mead? Wow, look at this. 80 stamina? I, I could run around forever with this. This is great. So this is why you need berries for mead. You need to grow raspberries and stuff for this. I see. Cool. Well, let me look at, like, let me compare boar jerky really fast. So, regular boar mead is 30 health and 10 stamina. And um, boar jerky is more balanced. Lasts for 30 minutes. Um, regular boar meat. Well, only lasts for 20 minutes. Okay, that's cool. Well, we can definitely make that. All right? So I can go over to the cauldron and I could just make some jerky. Oh, what can I... What can I upgrade? I don't know. I don't know if I can upgrade the cauldron or not, but... Can you make more than one? Can I let... Can I be like, craft like a thousand of them or something? It doesn't look like it, unfortunately. But well, you can see how much better it is than just, like, yellow mushroom to eat this jerky. Because this gives you more stamina, but this just gives you health and stamina. It's more balanced, um, and it lasts much longer. So let's go here, and I'm going to put this away, and let's think about this. I have berries and stuff, so I could make jam. Let me look at the jam. It's 20 minutes, and it gives a ton of stamina. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so let me go here uh, and take out my raspberries, and I can mix this together and make a little bit of jam. Right? Oh, I need more blueberries. I'd have to go out picking blueberries to do that. It doesn't look like I have any either. I don't. All right, that's sad. I'm going to eat my boar meat and feel great about it. And let's see. So did we finish over here? Let me see how this ended up. Uh, there's still stuff in the smelter that needs to go. Okay, and then 
Um, there's still stuff in the smelter that needs to go. So let me get put some more coal on both sides. Get this going. Okay, don't have any coal. All right. That, hopefully that'll get me there. Now, I have, what, nine bars of tin. And what we just made was the cook pot, which I've been waiting for, right? I can also make a forge cooler. Um, and I can make the fermenter. So let's make a fermenter so we can start getting some ale going. And uh, I have one bronze. I have a bunch of copper. So the forge cooler is actually pretty easy for me to make. Let me just split this up and do this. Uh, put this... Actually, no, let me take this out. I'm going to walk... Oh, wait. I didn't pick it up. Here, yeah, put it in here. I know I'm carrying too much, but for the time being, go ahead and just use this. And let me... Um, make five bronze great and then butcher knife slaughtering tamed animals ah can only hurt tamed creatures i'm not really doing that right now um what i'd rather do what would i need for like um you know like a bronze mace for example leather scraps that's it okay that's not bad anyway in the meantime I definitely want to make, um, let's make as much bronze as I can and make the forge cooler and try to make the fermenter. Okay. And if I want to make a forge cooler, um, I need fine wood 25. All right. Um, and I'm carrying too much, so I got to put some stuff away. Let me put away the bronze for now and just walk over and try to get fine wood. How much fine wood do I have? That is not enough. That's sad. That's what it is. Okay. Any other recipes that I want to make? I need carrots and stuff. So hopefully we can be begin to grow uh, some more carrots. There's one. There's another one, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, great. So if I have carrots, what can I make? I can make deer stew. Now, deer stew gives you not very much stamina, unfortunately, but a bunch of health. So if I'm going to go fight a boss, well, then this is what you want. Carrot soup gives you a ton of stamina. So do I have any regular mushrooms, though? I don't think I do. I don't really see those that frequently, to be honest with you. They must be in the meadows. Yeah, I think they are, huh? All right, let me go ahead then in this chest and, you know, just put away some carrots and stuff for now and plan out um, how we're going to do this in the future. I'm going to put these in my gear pile. We need more blueberries. We need more uh, regular mushrooms. I need some fine wood. Doop -doop -doop. I'm running into the forest. I'm getting wild. I do have some blueberries marked, and blueberries are just in the um, the black forest itself, so that shouldn't be too bad. I'm cold and it's wet. This is bad. All right, all right, all right. I know, I know. I did this to myself. I came out at night. Shame on me. But I just want a little bit of fine wood. There we go. Oh, am I already overburdened? Yeah. This darn metal. Oh, give me a break. A shaman came right as I was trying to look at my inventory. All right, all right, all right. The metal is just so heavy. Did I get enough um, fine wood? I think so. I think I got just enough to make the forge cooler. I did. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and make it. Because I, I don't like carrying too much. Um, let me put this thing... Like, right behind the forge. And we got it. So now, we have a forge level 3. And that feels good. Now, I don't know if this means immediately you can make, like, new stuff. Um, I see this, but I don't think that's necessarily new. Yeah, I think it just means you can upgrade stuff further. But that's great. So what we did now is, uh, if I want to build a fermenter, what do I need for that? I need bronze and I need 30 fine wood. All right. So we have built a cauldron. We got tin. We're getting bronze uh, more strongly together. We built the forge cooler. And we are able to cook and completely revolutionize aspects of our buffing, which is just tremendous. Let's see. This doesn't have anything left. This doesn't either, so that's good. So let's put this over here, and let's see how much bronze we end up with at the end of the day. Um, do I have any more um, copper? I don't. I have a lot of bronze, but I'm running lower on copper. That's interesting. So now we need to go and actually get copper. How about that? Talk about full circle. Well, that's exciting. Well, that's awesome. Everyone, I think this is a good place to end the episode. We have upgraded the forge. We built the cauldron. We're cooking. Uh, we've got jerky. We got a bunch of tin. We made it home. We explored a ton more of the map. I mean, at least for me, it's a ton more. And I'm excited to keep going and maybe try and hunt down that second boss. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. Take care.